we're gonna see Tracy and Robert who just bought their dream house, but they still need to sell their old house. So I sold Tracy the house that they live in right now. Nine years ago, it was just Tracy and her son. I'm so thrilled to see that her family's grown. She's married Robert. Yeah. It's a wonderful story. It sounds like they need to sell this to be able to get into this kind of yeah. you know, next step forever home. They've been selling by owner for six weeks. I'm anxious to see what their current home looks like because 375, I think he said. There's no reason it shouldn't sell. I know exactly what it looks like. It's just dated. It is a great location. It's a great layout. I would no. love to help them. Hey, guys. Hi. This is cute. Yeah. Did you guys put on a new roof? We did. We did. Yeah, new the roof, roof looked good. All the Major windows thing. are brand new. Yeah, yeah, that's all huge for selling. But I we mean, haven't done anything to the inside. OK, let's go see it. OK, welcome. OK, awesome. So it's a kind of typical split level. You know, this kitchen's a little outdated. Kitchen is so important to a buyer, especially this area yeah. where we're probably going to get a younger family, mm -hmm. somebody with kids yeah. because of the community right here. I mean, you have the golf course right next door. Mm -hmm. You have Park. all the parks. Yeah. We have all the local schools. Right. Oh! This is the result of a burst of energy. Yeah, and one night it was like, do you know what? I'm gonna rip the entire room apart. We got in two rooms. Oh, oh so there's <laughs> another. There's another one of these. Most buyers in this price range are going to want a completed project. Yeah. Okay, let's go see the master. Yeah. Okay, yeah, awesome. We can do that. Oh my gosh, this is huge. I like how big yeah. this is. Yeah, it is. It's a decent sized room. You guys have a lot of furniture in here. This room looks a little bit a little crowded, small. Yeah. OK, let's finish the house. OK, go downstairs. Oh, wow, this is a big room. Yeah, a couple years ago, our son came down to make this into his bedroom, which was awesome. Really down here, what I think is missing at the moment is staging. Yeah. Like, just to define what the space is. In a traditional split level, your living space upstairs tends to be a little bit smaller. Yes. Really letting them know there's a second living space down here. Right. I'm yeah. seeing a lot of projects. I can see why this would overwhelm you guys. Yeah. For sure. Probably get back together tomorrow to come up with a good game plan to get you top dollar. Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. We are very comparable with split level, mm -hmm. newer roof. If a buyer is going to look at your home, this would definitely be a similar home that they would look at. Okay. Gotcha. Let's, okay. Check, Let's it check it out. Check it out. Yeah. Go on in. Oh, wow. So layout, oh, incredibly yeah. comparable. Mm -hmm. Yep. OK. What do you think? I'm actually kind of surprised that they didn't update the cabinets at all. Once you change out some of the things, nice countertops, nice backsplash, it does still make the kitchen feel Oh, it looks more, a lot better yeah. than ours. It's just one more area I want you guys to uh, right. peek at. Over here, two bedrooms that are actually completed. <laughs> <Yeah>. Finished <laughs> bedrooms. Yes. Yep. And then the master. What are you guys thinking? I like I, it yeah. way better than what we have. Comparing it to ours, it's beautiful. And now that you've seen a split level finished, yeah. what do you think this one sold for? Say 410, maybe? Maybe 410. This actually sold in three days, and it sold at 435. Oh my gosh, wow. that's yeah. crazy. That's amazing. OK, let's go back to the bus and talk about our plan. It's like a little mobile office. OK. I know you guys have been trying to sell for 375 mm -hmm. And with the two rooms that aren't completed yet, yeah. it's probably not going to sell at that price. Yeah, that's kind of scary. I'm going to point to her. OK. I've got a great plan put together. If you guys are in agreement, we think with some updates, we can definitely get your home to sell for more than $375,000. So the renovation costs would really be to focus on the things that we feel are necessary to get you guys top dollar. So in your living room, we'd want to remove the half wall that separates the stairs from the living space and build a new modern railing to let in more light. We'd also like to paint and replace your old carpeting with hardwood flooring. In the kitchen, we'll take down the pantry wall that separates the kitchen from the living space. We'll also add new modern cabinets and flooring. 
In the guest rooms, we'll add new flooring, trim, and closet doors to replace what was stripped out. We'll also give the rooms a fresh coat of paint. In the master bedroom, we'll simply give the walls and trim a fresh coat of paint and stage with furniture that fits the room better. And we yeah. can make a huge impact by doing that. Yeah, and that would involve us putting in a 35,000 okay. investment of our money into your home. That would pay for updating the living room and the kitchen, fixing your guest rooms, updating your master bedroom, and fresh paint and staging throughout. We feel incredibly confident that we can get us to a sales price of 430,000 or above. Sounds amazing. So if we put in 35,000 of investment money, once we get that back, that would be an additional $20,000 of profit that then we would split 10-10. Right. So that gives you additional funds yeah. to put into your new home. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? We feel great about it. Yeah. Excited. We're ready to excited. do this. Yes. We're excited, Kay. all right? Yeah. Hop back in. Okay, great. You're excited? Yeah. Yes. I'm excited. Oh my gosh. Should I get out and Ginger. Push? There we go. Go! Ah! Oh jeez. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> With the family eager to sell their current home and move into their dream home, Leslie and I released Jeff and his crew on Robert and Tracy's house with one instruction. Take it out. Take it all out. The pantry wall between the kitchen and living room is coming out, and the stair railing is getting a quick demo, all of which will let in a ton more light. We are cruising along on this renovation. Our clean white cabinets are being installed, and our geometric pattern tile is already making this place feel fresh and modern. And since we're not doing much in the living room, I really wanted to create a visual interest on top of the fireplace to really bring that modern style into this space. Is this the same width as the fireplace? No, He's no gonna I have, have to, to cut it all down. We create a rectangle. Then we have a triangle. You're making more of a geometric design to it. But this is a pretty inexpensive way to do it. When somebody walks in, they're gonna see this fireplace, which they're gonna envision. Right. We redid this whole yeah. fireplace. Like that. Yeah. A few more pieces and let's get it on the wall. I'm happy, it looks amazing. The crew has finished up painting the whole house. And since we don't have any upper cabinets in the kitchen, it's giving us the space to build a beautiful range hood that I think will be the focal point of the whole kitchen. Now we need to figure out the final details of this. So what yes. our thought was, we just have to figure out what stain. So here's our floor. A stain that would complement this. I don't like this at all. Uh -uh. Staining this wood is gonna help add some much needed warmth to this white and modern kitchen. Yeah, that's it, right there. Look at how pretty it is. Yay, Jeffrey! Don't remember our handshake from when we were kids? Jeff, Jeff, look, you're look. left out. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah. Come on. We're done. Okay. Hello. Hi. 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 Welcome back. Thank you. Are you excited? Yes, we're super excited. How oh, are it's you? so good to see you guys again. Hi. Nice to see you. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, yeah. we're ready. Okay, okay go, go ahead. ahead. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys, look at the fireplace. <gasps> I can't believe this is the same house. Like, I literally cannot believe this is the same house. This is insane. Okay, I can't stop looking at the banister. Yep. Yeah, this just gave it more of that modern feel, yep. and it takes away that 
you know, split level. You walk in the front door and you're immediately yes. confined. Closed yeah. in. And it opens it up. On this block, you've got a lot of split levels and they all are predictable when you walk in the door. Right. Here we wanted to give something different. Um, so we wanted to go with a really modern, but clean yeah. feel to it. And so with the fireplace in particular, I mean, it was an easy, fairly inexpensive update. That's perfect. So by taking out the pantry, we gave that open concept, but we still wanted to define this is the living space. Oh, <laughs> look, come here. <laughs> look, <gasps> how do you even do this? That was a custom build. We threw it out there one day to our contractor and he whipped it together. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's, Look yeah. at the tile. Oh, the counter, you guys. Like, I literally cannot believe this. And there's still so many cabinets, even with all of them up at the top gone, and I can't believe what a difference that makes that to tile is amazing. keep everything open. So what is your thought? Would this stop you from buying this house, assuming you were buying this house, to not have uppers? Or do you feel like there would be enough in here because there's enough design with this kitchen? I, mean, I would take the design yeah. over the extra cabinets any day. Yeah. Oh no, because there's your I win dance. <laughs> oh, 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 holla. Oh, so I take it you wanted to get rid of the cabinets and maybe yes. you didn't? I didn't want to compromise the design for uppers. Oh, wow. Look at this. <laughs> Just a big living area. Oh, this is perfect. I mean, this is huge. It is. So this was an important one for us to stage so people knew that it was usable. That you could do something with it. Yeah. yeah. And it looks great. It does. It really does. Awesome. All right. Let's All go. Right. I am blown away. Yeah. I, I had all these imaginings in my head. None of this was there. It's absolutely stunning. It just is open, it's cozy, it's warm, it's inviting. Absolutely love it. Yay. Yay. That's awesome. You are not welcome to move back in. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we already bought another house. That's right. I'm just making that okay. clear. And we need the money out of this one. Exactly. So, yes. so let's talk about that. We put in the 35000 that we discussed. We are going to list at 430. Okay. Uh, and that will leave us an additional 20000 once we get our renovation okay. cost back to split uh, 10 and 10. Okay. So we have an open house scheduled tomorrow. And I think it's going to go quick. Seriously. Absolutely. You guys have been fabulous. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Seriously, we love you guys. <laughs> we love you too. Yeah. All staging out. Yep. I've got everything here. We sold this house in four days. 430 was the list price. 440 was the um, sales price. So That's... we're stoked. We're so excited. That's 10,000 more that we get to split with the owner than what we even expected. Ooh, I just got a text. Tracy and Robert. Tracy and Robert, how random. Oh, video. Hi, Lindsay and Leslie. We just wanted to take a minute to say thank you for everything that you did. It sold for more than what we had listed it for, more than we ever hoped to get out of it. And um, we just owe all that to you.